greetings. I want to show you where to find different tools made by other commanders that in many cases are really helpful. Just go to web page called edcodex.info tools section. Here you can see all available tools and you might be very surprised what you will find there. In this video I want to show you virtual outfitting and shipyard tools. There are two very good ones. First is called Coriolis and official website is Coriolis.io. This is really helpful web page. Here you can see all playable ships. You can click on any ship. For example, let's go with Corvette. And you can outfit it however you want. For example, military grade composite, best power plant, best thrusters, best frameshed drive, lightest life support, best power distributor, lightest sensors. You can play with fuel tank if you want to. All modules available in game are here. You can have any shield generator available in the game, even prismatic. And when you add or edit any module, you will see changes right away. It's a great tool. You would definitely have some shield cell banks on combat corvette. So let me find and add couple shield cell banks. So you can outfit however you want. You can use each weapon, fixed gimbal turret, all weapons available in the game, an example. Yeah, let's go with pulse lasers. You can have any utility mount you want, cargo scanners, chaff, heat sinks, frameshed drive wake scanner, kill warrant scanner, and of course never forget about shield boosters. And take a look, each time you add any module, these stats will change. And when you are done, you can see exactly how much money you need. You will see insurance. You can play with priorities. So you won't have to play with priorities when you buy your ship. You already know exactly what to set. Only you can do this all offline. You can see power consumption for each module. You can turn them on and off. And you will see ship size, landing pad size large, agility to front end, speed with this setup because if you switch thrusters you can see this all is changing on the fly. With boost to 70, damage per second 18 armor 1.295, shields 1.451, hull mass, total mass ship unladen and ship laden. If I add cargo rack, I have 12 tons cargo space for this setup. Just play and find your best loadout. Fuel tank, maximum jump range. With full tank you can jump 12.3 jump range. Fully loaded 12.22. If I add a cargo rack, you can see that jump range drops. And with one full fuel tank you can jump four times, which is actually around 47-49 light years. And lock, mass lock factor 24. And you can save, enter a name for your build and save it and share actually. And second tool for virtual shipyard and outfitting that I would recommend is ED Shipyard. The web page is edshipyard.com. It's very similar to Coriolis, only it's a drop-down menu for each module. You can also switch any ship, Imperial Clipper. You can have any hard points. Basically you can try every single loadout to see which one works for you. Whatever you like, play with them. You will see total mass, of course, power consumption. You can see engine capacitor energy use per boost. Maneuverability. Mass lock factor. You need rank Baron. Obviously it's Imperial Clipper. You can see damage per second. 
damage type thermic because it's beam laser if you switch it to cannons you will see it's kinetic penetration armor penetration rating prices of each module and again you can see all price total price for your chosen modules and ship you can add discounts if you know there's 10% discount like founders world you can add all right away to see final price and you can even see insurance price for your current loadout depending on if you are alpha beta or normal backer on top right you can see range and engines and you can enter any number in pips or percentage and you will see engines with zero pip speed with four pips and anything in between very useful jump range laden unladen with full fuel with low fuel tank this is laden if you add any let me add cargo rack class 6 check laden jump range it's changed right away so if you want to see what modules you can outfit to your ship how much it will cost you and right away how that will influence your ship's performance in terms of max speed boost jump range total cargo power consumption damage per second and like that use coriolis.io or edshipyard.com fly safe commanders